These Dometic towing mirrors come in a very handy package. The goal is to get it as wide as possible because you'll get a more stable arm and it won't shake quite as much. This is the Dometic Malenko Grand Aero 3. I think the model number is DM2912. Uh, it's about 150 bucks for the pair on Amazon. And basically they clamp onto your mirror and you can adjust them in a variety of ways so that you can see around the trailer behind you. One of the nice things about these is that once you get them set the first time and positioned, you can remove them at your campsite, stow them in the bag, and when you put them back on, everything remains the same. You don't actually have to adjust this mirror because it's a really solid uh, ball mount for the mirror. Okay. So now that we're driving, you can see how much the mirrors shake. It's really not too bad. It probably looks worse on camera but the human eye is able to stabilize the image in the mirror a little bit better. The important thing is that I'm able to make lane changes safely because I can see the traffic behind me, and if a semi is coming up next to me, I can prepare for any trailer sway. We tried them on the top initially, but I didn't feel like it was a very secure mounting, so I switched it to the bottom, and all you do is screw them on, That's it, since this one was already set for this mirror, it's all ready to go. What's a little tricky the first time is getting these clamps in the right place. They spin in all different directions. They spin this way, and they spin this way. You can slide the brackets along the length of the, the arm so that you can fit your mirror. So when I installed for the first time, I sort of lined up the brackets and then Slide, slide them as wide as possible in the mirror, like so. And then you secure the screw to the arm, and then clamp it to the mirror. One thing I like is that you can rotate the mirror itself to match your mirror, to put the wider side on the outside, to do it upside down, however you want it. Um, I found, for me, I really like having the wide side toward the car and the narrower side to the outside, but that's up to you.